Hey everybody, Juan Carlos Bagnell here in Newegg Studios. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to use the screen sampler feature of Logitech's G-Hub RGB lighting software. Now, at first glance, the lighting in Logitech's peripherals seems about the same as the options from other companies. But one area where Logitech has the edge is in the ability for your setup to automatically and dynamically change color to match what's displayed on your screen. No matter what game you're playing, what YouTube video you might be watching, heck, even if you just have a spreadsheet open, all of your gear lights will change to match what you're seeing on your monitor. Now let's talk about how you can make that happen. For this demonstration, we're using Logitech's LightSync speakers, which have really impressive lights on the back and front that add a ton of ambient color to your setup. We're also using the G502 Lightspeed wireless mouse and the brand new G915 wireless keyboard, all of which support live screen sampling color matching. Most of Logitech's RGB gaming peripherals released within the last two years support the screen sample feature we're going to be looking at in this video. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a comprehensive list of all the compatible devices anywhere. We'll include a link in the description below this video that will take you to Logitech's LightSync page where you can find more information and at least a partial list of supported devices. Once you have some compatible gear, you need the right software. If you're still using the same Logitech gaming control software you've had for years, it's time to upgrade. The latest version is called Logitech G Hub. We'll include a link to that below as well. And the hub is what you'll need in order to turn on screen sampling. After you start up the software, it should recognize all your peripherals automatically. Then you just need to click one to get into the lighting controls. You'll see that there are a few tabs available allowing you to program your own lighting or to select from some pre-designed animations that are pretty cool all on their own. The option we want is under presets. There you'll find screen sampler if your device supports it. Select that option and you'll see the configuration options pop up. On the left hand side, you'll see an image of your active screen with a series of rectangles on it, one of which will be highlighted in blue. This part of your screen corresponds to the lights currently lit up with blue on the right side of the G-Hub interface. Clicking different screen samples will show you the corresponding lights on your device. If all you wanna do is accept the default screen sampler settings, then you're pretty much done. Just turn Screen Sampler on for all your compatible peripherals and it'll start working. By default, your keyboard will sample a row of five zones across the lower half of your screen. Your mouse will match up with the top right and your light sync speakers will match the front and back lights to spots on the right and left hand sides of your display. This is the basic functionality of the Screen Sampler effect in Logitech's light sync RGB products. And that's pretty amazing. Rather than relying on specific APIs unique to different games in order to display corresponding colors, Logitech software just displays appropriate colors based on what colors are on your screen. Jump into some blue water and everything will light up blue because your screen is blue. And that's going to work no matter what game you're playing or if you're watching a video or a movie. But let's not stop there. Using the options in the screen sampler controls, we can do even more with Logitech software. Down in the advanced settings, we can vary the intensity of the color and change how smooth color transitions are. If you feel like your peripheral lights are too subtle or seem to be off entirely when using Screen Sampler, you can probably fix the problem by cranking up the intensity here. That will help it work better with darker games or movies. Now we're going to look more closely at the sampler customization options. Click edit and you'll be able to modify the size, shape, and placement of the screen sample. You can also add additional samples or delete them if you want to simplify. This is how you'd set it up if you just want your keyboard split into two different color zones to match the extreme left and right of your screen. Move the zones you need, delete the extras, then highlight the keys you want to correspond to each screen sample. There's also a really useful button at the bottom of the edit menu, select reference image. You can use this to upload a screenshot you've taken from your favorite game, and then you can place your screen samples accordingly. If you want your keyboard to turn red when your health bar turns red, for example, you could do that using this option. You also might find the default placement for screen samples aren't good for every game. With Minecraft as one example, some of the zones perpetually correspond to the color of your hand or what you're holding, which isn't what we're really going for here. Using a reference screenshot, we can make sure that the samples will be in the right place to have the best visual effect. 
If you're looking to get the most out of the screen sampling RGB effect, it's hard to recommend Logitech's LightSync speakers strongly enough. They have a lot of impressive audio tech to them, but the visual impact you get from the rear lights splashing onto your walls is so impressive, you'll probably want to have them turned on even when you aren't listening to anything at all. Simply put, what Logitech is doing with RGB peripheral lighting here is a step beyond what you can get from other gaming peripheral companies. For a few years now, people have been half joking about what comes next, you know, after everything has RGB lights built in. This is the answer to that question. RGB lighting that matches whatever is on your screen, enhancing your immersion and visual experience, and actually goes beyond the peripherals and hardware itself to fill your whole gaming space. One more time, check out the links in the description below this video for more information and to pick up some Logitech gear for yourself on Newegg.com.